So if you ever have to make a Zoom call and you want to replace yourself with some kind of AI avatar like the one you're seeing here, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So maybe you want to pull a prank on someone. Uh, maybe you want to have fun with, uh, you know, someone you're having a call with. Or maybe you're sick and you want your virtual avatar to replace you. So I'm going to show you um, how that's done. So first, um, let's talk about the tools we're going to use. So we're going to use a tool called Expression Camera, which is uh, this tool right here, uh, which you can download from Mac for Windows. So I'll have a link to um, this website below where I can download this application. So now the first thing you're going to need is, uh, well, besides downloading Expression Camera, is going to be a picture. So it could be a picture of yourself if you want to kind of create, a, a, you know, an avatar uh, AI version of yourself for Zoom. Uh, but it can also be um, a picture, um, a random picture. And what I recommend you do um, if you want to create um, like a, a stock photo picture you could use for um, to replace you as an avatar is to use a stock design. So I have a link below. Um, you can get 33 credits, so that's 33 images. And so that's a great way to, um, you know, create a picture uh, for free, pretty much you can use. So here, um, I'll show you how it works. So basically, once you log in, you'll get your 33 credits um, that you can use to create images. And then uh, just come here to the portrait tab and just say, uh, you know, what kind of... Um, of uh, image you want. So let's say I want an image of a uh, white man, white man, adult, businessman, uh, emotion. You want to use serious uh, because um, um, for converting an image to uh, a, a virtual avatar, um, if the if the photo if the character in the photo is smiling, it's not going to be that good of a result. So it's better if. Um, the character's lips are sealed, like this one here. So all your serious as an emotion. Then just click on generate here. Okay, and that's uh, your image has been generated. So then you can uh, save it to your dashboard. So once you save it, it will um, appear in your dashboard here. Just a second. And so now I can use um, this image as my uh, virtual avatar. And this is an image that is generated with a stable diffusion. So it's a kind of text to a text to image uh, diffusion model. Um, so it's unique. So you can use that, and you know, you don't have to worry about uh, copyright or, you know, using someone's face. Um, so let's say, uh, let's, let's use this one actually, because it's uh, it's a pretty good, uh, result so let me have a look yeah i don't think i need to do anything to it uh, basically i could do a face restoration um, if you find that the face is not good enough you can use the restore face feature here but i think that you know it's 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 pretty good um, so i'm going to save the image um, to my desktop and then i will go to um, expression camera so make sure to download and to install it and then launch it from your um Computer. So as you can see, um, there is my video here in the bottom right hand corner, and it's it's using this image from Elon Musk. What I can do is I can select a file, and I'll select that image which I um, just created on stock design. So this image here, and now um, it's already animated. So as you can see, um, in really a couple of clicks, you can replace yourself with an avatar and. You know, it's a pretty fun technology. So then um, how do you um, integrate that to Zoom? Let's say you're having a Zoom call and you want this uh, AI avatar to replace yourself. So what you'll do is you'll go to Zoom and um, under the video settings, um, you see you have two options. You have face, you have your, your regular computer camera. So in my case, it's called the FaceTime HD camera. And you have another one called expression camera. So uh, just select that one. And then what you can do as well is to change the virtual uh, background. Um, you can do like uh, a blur. Um, you can do um, the this bridge here. Or you can, ha you can basically add what you want as a background. Um, and yes, that's pretty much how you um, turn yourself into 
a virtual avatar. So pretty cool technology and uh, readily available right now. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. And um, then if you like um, expression camera, you can upgrade to a pro plan. I guess you get a bit more features, um, but, but the free plan is good to get started and you know create some cool stuff. So I hope you like the video. That's how you can replace yourself with a virtual avatar and make sure to like and subscribe if you like this kind of videos. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.